And there's a new way to stop street litter from getting swept away into our waterways and our bays during storms. It's a big problem, and while one city prepares for this proven effective tool, another city just got them installed and has gone high tech to stop pollution. It's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. It's a big day in the city of Hallandale Beach. It's been taking a, a while to get this project actually rolling, but to see it's going right now, I'm extremely excited. After months of planning, the first of these high-tech screens are finally being installed at the open curb inlets along the 800 block of Parkview Drive. We have so much debris going into the intercoastal, into our waterways, so we're trying to uh, protect that. And that's exactly why these screens were designed, to trap all the street litter before it enters the stormwater system, where it eventually flushes out into waterways and the intercoastal. It is a big win for the environment. Thank you, bro. Thank you. All right. Emilia Lopez is the CEO and co-founder of SOP Technologies, who developed the filters to not only reduce pollution in the stormwater system, but to also allow stormwater to flow freely and prevent street flooding. What we patented is the upward flow of water through the screen, so the water comes down and up. This design has a much greater open area for water flow. They're also designed to stop deadly organics from getting through. These leaves and lawn clippings may look harmless, but they're actually ticking time bombs. So as you can see here, um, water is taking uh, these leaves into the storm drain system. Eventually, this leads to Biscayne Bay. And as you know, when this decomposes, it becomes a nutrient. Phosphorus and nitrogen, deadly nutrients that feed algae growth in our bay and waterways and kill the seagrass. You need to prevent the organics from getting into the waters because they decompose. So leaves, which is a majority of what we actually capture in front of the storm drains. The screens already have a proven track record. They were installed along Duval Street in Key West in 2016. 40 were installed in South Miami in 2018. Aventura installed them citywide in 2019. Soon, they'll finally be installed in the city of Miami. 1,000 of them have already been ordered. It's extremely important. Uh, we have 28,000 catch basins in the city, and every single one of them is contributing to the problem by allowing nutrients, debris to get into, the, into Biscayne Bay. On this day, the open inlets along Southwest 16th Street and 27th Avenue were being measured for the custom screens. It'll take four to six weeks to manufacture them, 250 screens for each of Miami's four districts. The first batch to be installed in District 2, downtown Miami, and the Biscayne Bay Corridor. We have a, a lot of areas in the city where we, we know they're hot spots because of the, the amount of debris that gets clogged in the system and we have to keep coming in and cleaning it multiple times a year. And now Public Works can actually track the trashiest storm drains. Each new screen comes with a QR code that residents can scan with their smartphone and upload pictures to report clogged screens that need to be cleaned. Is there an area of the city that we notice consistently there's a lot of trash and debris? And if that's the case, then maybe we need to have other methods to address the problem at the root. More garbage cans, no littering signs, tools to attack the street trash before it gets in here and out here. It's over 100 pounds per storm drain per year that we're preventing from getting into the storm drain system. Giving the Bay a fighting chance to heal. I'm born and raised in South Florida. We don't want to see pollution in, uh, in our oceans and waterways. And this is great that we're finally st starting to take measures to help reduce the pollution and reduce the flooding that's, that's been occurring here for many years. No, we don't want to see pollution in our waterways and bay. It is costing the city of Miami $270,000 to install the 1,000 screens. But remember, the city has more than 28,000 storm drains, so we're only talking 3.5% here. Miami Day, by the way, has over 90,000 storm drains countywide. That's an expensive proposition, all because people continue to litter. To learn more about SOP Technologies, click on the Don't Trash Our Treasure tab on local10.com.